guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lissy. I am doing something that a lot of you guys have been asking me to do forever. Tonight I'm going to be spending 24 hours with some of my most haunted dolls. And these dolls I've gotten from antique stores, I've gotten from eBay, or I've just gotten from random places and rumor has it that some of these dolls are truly haunted. I've had this collection building up for a while. If you guys are new to my channel, I've done a lot of unboxing videos of getting haunted dolls off eBay mystery boxes or even just buying them from antique stores where people claim that they are haunted. Haunted. Hopefully they're nice spirits. Also guys smash like on today's video and if this video gets to 10,000 likes Maybe I'll do a video about my entire haunted doll collection for you guys But moving right on to my most popular haunted doll And this is the doll that you guys have been begging me to make a video about forever And I recently did just upload a short about her and a lot of you guys missed this doll This is Rose. I don't know if you guys remember the video where I bought her But she was my first haunted doll and I got her quite a while ago She smells like smoke and it's a pretty heavy scent So every time that I'm holding her I kind of like inhale that and it's a little discomforting. I don't know if she's a nice or a mean spirit, but I did keep this doll in my room one night and my dog just got scared of her and ran away, so that's not a good sign. She's literally looking terrified at this doll right now and running down the hallway, so she does scare all the dogs in the house. I do want to point that out, and usually the dogs don't care about the toys and things I bring into the house, but this doll scares the dogs a lot. And not only that, but she fell off of my shelf one night when I was keeping her in my room after the video when I first got her. She completely just tumbled off the shelf and since then I got so scared, I've kept her in the garage. Don't think she likes that so I want to apologize to her because I don't want to disrespect her for the spirit that might be attached to her but I feel like this could be my most haunted doll. So that's candidate number one. Candidate number two is I think his name is Jimmy. I don't really remember. Sorry little buddy. This guy was also one of my first haunted dolls. He has really creepy eyes. He blinks sometimes randomly. I swear I've seen him blink when he wasn't supposed to. He doesn't really scare me. I do feel like he might be haunted. I got this one at an antique shop. I believe the same antique shop that I got Rose from. He is just really really creepy. His eyes are a little foggy now because he's actually pretty old and he does blink so I'm trying to show you guys what it looks like when he blinks. Kind of like that. Candidate number three. This is my very large Raggedy Ann doll aka Annabelle. I don't know if she's really haunted but a lot of you guys really wanted me to see if she is. I don't really feel like she's going to be but she will be in this challenge of my haunted dolls tonight. I got her from the antique store and you just never know what could be attached to something. This is a huge doll. She's literally the size of a small child and she actually did scare the dogs as well which takes a lot because the dogs think everything's a toy so that could be a sign that something might actually be coincidentally attached to my Annabelle doll. I doubt it, like I said, because there's a lot of Raggedy Ann's in the world and everybody likes to think about Annabelle, but you never know. I don't think she'd be levitating at night. I think she's just a cute little Raggedy Ann. Next candidate we have is uh, my monkey doll. <laughs> this one here is just kind of silly looking, um, but for some reason it did come in one of my haunted mystery boxes and it had a story attached to it, which I don't really remember, but for some reason he was haunted, but he's never done anything weird for me yet. But I'm actually excited tonight to put this one to the test. What should we name this monkey? Let me know in the comments. And last but not least from my recent last I think haunted doll mystery box video I got sent this one on eBay who apparently was haunted and the owner of this doll was so freaked out that they got rid of it. This one is Mrs. Elegant is her name I believe um, and she's sitting on a chair she's a very beautiful doll but I would love to know more about the spirit that is allegedly attached to this haunted doll of mine so hopefully tonight after I spend 24 hours with these dolls that we will get some answers about why they're haunted or which one is the most haunted. Okay guys so here is going to be test number one. I have lined up all of my haunted dolls on the bed right next to my friend pod and this will light up any color once I turn it on if a spirit touches it to show that they are here. I also have this EMF reader here that will light up to red if there is a spirit here and I'm going to set it next to all of my haunted dolls. I love how they're all just sitting. Those two are laying because they don't really stand. Annabelle sits really creepily. Look at her. Look at those legs. The monkey's just vibing. Anyways, we're gonna turn on this REM pod and turn the lights off and see if anything does happen. It's resetting right now, so it's gonna take a minute to reset. We're gonna turn the lights off and see if anything happens. I'm gonna try to watch them carefully, and I wanna know if anything happens overnight. It is pretty late right now, by the way, guys. It's 12 o'clock. I would love to know if any of you spirits can say hello by touching the EMF reader to show that you are here, or lighting up the EMF reader to red, or touching the REM pod to show that you guys are here. We are happy to be welcoming all of you. All right, let's see if there's any individual ones here out of my collection. Rose! We would love to know if you're here by touching either of my equipments to show that you're here with us today. Jimmy, if you would like to show that you're here, can you light up one of my equipments to say hello? Don't be shy. Monkey, if you are here, can you light up one of my equipments tonight to show that you are here? 
Alright, so right now, none of my dolls have done anything to the equipment that I've put out. And it is getting late. I've been trying to be patient. I've been filming clips, but nothing's happening. So, I am going to open up a spirit box app and see if we can get any words or voices from my lovely haunted dolls right behind me that are sitting on the bed. Also, let me know if you guys see anything weird behind me moving. Um, I am going to open up an app and see if we get any words or voices from my haunted dolls. Alright, so we have this app right here, and this is a spirit box app. We're gonna click start and see if we can get a hello or a name of any of my haunted dolls. Hello dolls, are any of you here to speak with us today? Can we have the name of the doll that is present? I thought I heard Rose immediately. Okay, maybe I'm going crazy. If Rose is here, can you confirm that by saying Rose again? Rose, are you a child or um, an older spirit? Did it say my name? Okay, that's creepy. Can you say my name again, Rose? Oh my gosh, I said Lizzie twice! I have chills down my whole body. Okay, I don't know which one of you guys that was. Was that Rose that said my name? Which one of my dolls is haunted? Can you guys tell me? Annabelle? Really? Okay, we're gonna switch to Annabelle. I'm a little concerned. All right, I thought the spear box at Annabelle, so Annabelle, can you tell us what your favorite color is? It says Lissy in a whisper! This is so creepy. I don't know if I like this, guys. Annabelle, if I'm speaking to the spirit of the Annabelle doll, can you tell me, are you a girl or a boy spirit? Do you enjoy my company? Do you have anything you want to say about one word to describe your life? You're done? Do you guys want me to stop talking to you through the app? It keeps whispering Lissy! Okay, I'm gonna stop with the app right now. Because genuinely, I don't know if you guys have realized, the app literally whispered Lissy like three to four times, which is actually scary because I don't know which doll I'm communicating with or if there's a spirit that is pranking me out of these dolls on my bed because none of my equipment's going off. So it's getting a little weird that the app, you know, was giving me Lissy, Lissy, Lissy and just a mixture of answers like Annabelle, Rose, like which doll is haunted? I don't know. I'm gonna pull out these rods and I'm going to ask them to try to direct me with the spirits to which doll is the most haunted of mine. So to do this, I'm gonna have to do something very specific with the rod. I'm actually gonna have to film with my phone to make a point here. So let me switch to the phone camera. Also, I wanna mention that my dog is actually so freaked out right now. She doesn't wanna be near Rose at all. She just jumped off the bed. She wanted to go back on the bed. And then as soon as she looked at Rose, she jumped away and now she's walking away in the hallway. She does not want to be here at all. But I am going to blame one of these dolls for that because my dog never does that. She loves being on the bed. So to be specific, I'm going to hold up this one rod here and I'm going to hold it as still as I can. As you guys can see, it's very still. And I'm going to ask the rod to point to which one of my dolls is the most haunted. Spirits, can you tell me which one is most haunted? It's going to the right. It's moving on its own. Oh gosh, I know exactly who it's pointing to. Rose. Okay, it went far right. It's not Jimmy, it's Rose. So she is my most haunted doll. I'm gonna move it back to the center again. Spirit of Rose, can you point to Rose again? If Rose is who I'm speaking with right now? Something just tickled my finger. Oh my gosh, that felt so weird. Okay, I am speaking with Rose. That is the one answer I wanted to know. Thank you for letting me know, Rose, that I'm speaking with you and that you are my most haunted doll. Now that we know that Rose is the most haunted of my dolls, we're gonna ask her some more questions that you guys have been wanting me to ask Rose. I'm going to ask, Spirit of Rose, were you attached to the doll before you passed on? Yes. Was this doll a gift from a loved one to you, perhaps, before you passed on? Yes, all oh, that is so sweet. They got it as a gift. This question is a little scary, but Rose, I want to know, are you a nice spirit? If so, cross the rods. If you are a mean spirit, can you open the rods? Okay. Um, I hope that you're just pranking with me because I don't, I don't want to do that tonight. Rose, are you a pranky kind of spirit? Do you like to pull jokes and have fun? Cross for yes, open for no. No! Okay, well that's lovely. Those just opened so fast. Alright, that's that's great. I'm a little scared right now. I'm like shaking. Ooh, okay. If you are happy that I am owning you, that was immediate no. Are any of my other dolls haunted? Cross for yes, open for no. 
Yes! Okay! It's getting later and later. It is now past 1 a.m. It is 1.30 a.m. And I've been spending the whole night with these guys trying to capture any of them moving or setting off my EMF meter or my REM pod, but nothing has happened. So we're going to pull out another piece of equipment for tonight to see if we can get any evidence as to what is up with these dolls. Oh my gosh, okay, right. Oh my gosh, I caught that. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, right as I set cat balls down to light up, the EMF went off. That doll fell over and that doll fell over on its own and they have been still the whole video. Oh my gosh, I finally got something on camera proving that that one might be haunted. I don't know what just happened, but that was really, really creepy. I also set down cat balls, which was why I actually pulled out my camera to record, not to capture that. That was coincidental, but I set down these cat balls and if they move, they will light up just like earlier, which was shown. Um, and if any spirits want to touch those to show that you're here, you're welcome to touch the cat balls. I put one on Jimmy, and I put one on the EMF reader. But the factor that those two dolls just fell over is actually so scary. I'm going to leave them how they are. I don't know how to feel about that. That was the most evidence that I've caught tonight over the whole challenge. That was crazy. And I did not move that. There's nobody over here. I'm going to show you guys. I just have a carousel horse, a bunch of plushies. There's no one under the bed, nothing, no strings attached to these dolls. They are just completely on their own, and if they move, they move. Rose has been laying here just like this the whole time. It is now almost 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh my gosh, guys, I have been up all night with my haunted dolls, so I've been letting have a slumber party on my bed. Let me know in the comments down below if I should do a video where I let all of my haunted dolls have an actual slumber party with me. Like, I stay up all night, I put cameras up in my room, and I sleep with them overnight and see if anything happens because if this video gets to like 20,000 likes I'll do it. That was crazy. I did get some crazy cat ball movement on camera and some other stuff with the rods. Honestly, I'm a little scared to go to sleep tonight. Genuinely actually horrified after watching the cat ball light up because I have not moved anything and all the equipment is still on the bed. That's just crazy to me. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments down below what I should do next with my haunted dolls. And if you guys have not hit the subscribe button, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.